Hi, welcome to Wallflowers. So today we're making two different types of butter cookies. We're making white butter cookies with a jam bob in the middle and we're making chocolate butter cookies. So the butter was really cold coming out of the fridge so I've took about 10 minutes softening it down with a fork and now just with a flat pebble. So next to add is Oh, we don't want to get into shallow. An egg and a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla lesson. Vanilla flavouring. Whatever you call it. This one's a nice texture. And I've got more butter stuck on my paddle than I've got mixing in with the egg at the moment. Not as soft as I thought it was, but that'll do. And next, I'm adding the brown sugar. I will put the recipe in the video today so you can see what amounts I'm actually using. I've chosen um, Demerara sugar here. Again, something we managed to get out of the heavy price. And then next I'm going to add the flour. And then just mix that all in together and incorporate it together. Like a work, how bacon. Use those shoulder muscles. So I've just taken a few minutes there just to give it a bit more of added pressure. So <laughs> I cut the video so I didn't put you through all the face pulling I was doing whilst I was putting the pressure in. So I don't actually have um, a decent icing bag um, to pipe, or piping bag should I say, um, to pipe these out as um, most people would. So I'm going to attempt to do it with basically a teaspoon. Um, and just do indi individual small ones like that. So I've no idea what this technique is actually called, but I've seen people do it with um, ice cream and other things. Um, 
it's supposed to to wait to to, set, to shout some um, small dough balls like this. So this is the technique to use, I think. When these ones are done, I'm going to do an indentation in the middle and then um, the jam we made earlier in the year. I actually made quite quite a bit of jam, um, a few different flavours. I did plum jam, strawberry jam, raspberry jam, um, blueberry jam, um, limelade. Um, I think that was it. I can't remember any others offhand now. But I made that much. I was able to give it as gifts, thank you presents. I've been able to bake with it. Um, we still have ample enough left um, to take us through to, <laughs> I think, and beyond <laughs> when we actually make some more. So it was a really successful um, jamming season for us um last year so i'm glad i took the opportunity um to make as much as i did little things like this go a long long way and more so because we've made them ourselves and they cost next to nothing these would actually freeze quite well um, I don't think that will last long enough to get to the freezing process but you might be better behaved with your sweet tooth than we are So you can get the image of what I'm doing here. I'll just finish this and come back to you when we start putting the jam in. Basically all you do is once you've got your balls, you just press an indentation in the middle of them. And then obviously that's where you're going to scoop your jam. Um, put a slab in the centre of each one. Some look smaller than others, but that's true home baked goods. They're not all perfect and shop made. Some can be quirky. As I've said, this is the raspberry jam I made um, in September. So, I didn't make many jars of the raspberry, but the, the last one. On, on the jar. These are on for 15 minutes in the oven. Um, gas mark four. And although it's late at night, I'll certainly be having one of these before, but it's at least one. I 
days will be pudding for tomorrow. So as I say, I'll put those in on gas mark for, for about 15 to 20 minutes. I don't think they'll take that long, so 10 to 15 maybe. Okay, so I've just lifted them out of the oven and a couple of them are quite brown. Um, so if I treat myself to those, a little late night snack with a nice cup of coffee, then we'll all know the difference when I say all the nice ones tomorrow. So, leave them all out and see. Some of them are great, but will be a nice little pudding for when we need them. And it's cost next to nothing, as I say, I made the jam. You buy the flour in quantity. The most expensive thing is the butter. And um, nine out of ten times when you go to these food initiatives, there's either some butter there, or you can get a vegan version or some kind of spread. Um, so, you know, it doesn't have to run into being expensive. Bacon can be, you know, as cheap or as expensive as you choose to make it. Um, I'm just going to, sorry cameraman, I'm just going to grab um, another plate. Those out. So once these have cooled down, um, I'll either put them in a tub and cover them till tomorrow or just zip them up in a Ziploc bag. Um, and then we can come in and out of them as we choose. Um, I was going to make um, a chocolate variety, but it's actually running into late in the evening now. So I think I'm just going to enjoy a couple of these and leave it that but if you do wish to make um the chocolate kind basically everything's just the same um except you add some cocoa powder and don't need to put the jam gels in although if you've got such a sweet tooth like we do you might like to put the jam in anyway with the chocolate if you have enough spoon I don't think I did too bad though for the short amount of ingredients. As I say, there are a couple of dark ones, but if I take those off the picture, I don't think the rest look too bad. So I hope you give them a try at home. I'll see you soon. Bye.